At first I was doing them every two weeks. It's an industry that's thriving. Having the reassurance from private scans has itchy got me through. Many women say they help, but is there a risk of false reassurance? That's what I specifically paid for to check for ectopic, and they got it so wrong. We investigate concerns about how scanning studios operate. To embark on a scan of a woman who's been bleeding is appalling. Go inside a company WhatsApp group which reviews scans. I knew something was wrong straight away. Didn't know what to do. Hear from a whistleblower who claims problems will be missed. They want to be all singing, all dancing, medical checks, pictures, and it can't be done in a five to eight minute scan. And ask whether there needs to be change. Regulations needed now. We're seeing a huge expansion of these clinics. On our high streets, one business is booming. For many women, pregnancy can be a really anxious time and they're keen to check on their baby's health. The NHS provides two scans unless there's a clinical need for more. But more than 200 businesses now offer a solution. Reassurance scans. Hope thought she'd struggle to have children because of previous ill health. Hey! Hi, hi. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. She says it made her especially anxious when she became pregnant. How have you been feeling? Um, yeah, not so bad. You feel like you're dreaming a little bit. I just couldn't believe it. It was like such a big gift and then I thought, what if this doesn't last? She's now six months pregnant and has had five private scans costing between 60 and 100 pounds each. I've put all the pictures all over my wall. He's literally like the last thing I see at night and the first thing I see in the morning. She says being able to bring her boyfriend along to the private ones, unlike NHS scans, has made a real difference. It's been the most relieving, relieving experience ever. Like, so I would go in quite tense. I'd have the most sleepless night before, just with pure worry. So when you then come out of that and you know everything's OK, you're like... <sighs> And I would say I feel like pretty relieved for maybe a good couple of days up to a week and then, I, then the cycle then starts again. Do you feel like the private scans reduce or increase your anxiety? I get what you mean, is it re reinforcing the anxiety, but I found the relief. Being able to just sleep at night and not worry, even just, just for one night, was just worth it. Um, just to know that everything was okay today. Scans are carried out by sonographers. Anyone can call themselves one. It's not a regulated profession like being a midwife. Companies offer a variety of services, including the chance to get souvenir images or video, to find out the gender or check for abnormalities. My children could have been without a mother. Carrie-Anne felt anxious after recognising pregnancy symptoms having undergone a sterilising procedure. She was worried about her increased risk of an ectopic pregnancy, where the foetus grows outside the womb, and so booked a scan at a studio run by Window to the Womb in Lisbon. It is contradicting himself. Fetus absent and normal life pregnancy. Even though the foetus couldn't be seen during the scan, and despite her history, the studio recorded a normal pregnancy. A day later, she began bleeding and went to the NHS. So I explained to the hospital that I'd been for a private ectopic scan, that everything was fine, I wasn't ectopic. So they did rescan me and they didn't pick up the ectopic either, so I was home believing that I was miscarrying. The bleeding continued. Two weeks later, she was sent to A&E. My fallopian tubes had ruptured and my stomach had filled with blood. I was hours from death, so there was no miscarriage. It was an ectopic pregnancy. The company says it's unable to comment due to legal proceedings. <laughs> Revealing the baby's gender has become a big part of many pregnancies. Party gifts is an industry worth tens of millions of pounds. We've spoken to a woman who attended a scan with window to the womb in Salford to check her baby's well-being and record its gender for a party. 
we've learned the company identified a serious abnormality incompatible with life, where part or all of the fetus's head is missing, called anencephaly. But rather than refer her immediately to hospital and provide a medical report, the woman was told the baby's head couldn't be fully seen and recommended to book an NHS anomaly scan. It was absolutely immoral. It, it was disgusting. They let this poor girl leave and, and go to a gender reveal party, name the baby, open gifts, and that baby couldn't live. They even gave the little girl a teddy bear with a heartbeat of her little sister. She only found out when she showed the scan images to a family friend who's an experienced sonographer. I saw the pictures in front of me and the abnormality was so obvious and so grotesque. Um, I couldn't believe my eyes, in all honesty. I had to break the news that that baby couldn't live and I had to do that over the telephone. And they were hysterical, absolutely hysterical. Window to the Womb has said all its staff are registered with the Health and Care Professions Council, but we've learned the sonographer who conducted the scan was not. At the time, the mother wrote to the company saying, I feel betrayed, distraught and lost for words. The company apologised. It says the sonographer left shortly afterwards and the incident led to best practice being reinforced across its branches. Available from 15 weeks plus. Some companies say they're not medical and don't diagnose problems. One of these, called Meet Your Miracle, advertises reassurance scans, which it says visualise well-being. We've been passed these messages from the company's WhatsApp group, which show sonographers and management sharing and discussing customer scans, sometimes during appointments. Any ideas at all? I've asked her outside. One sonographer told the group she felt guilty after having to let a woman leave without telling her about a possible serious abnormality. I knew something was wrong straight away. Didn't know what to do. I feel terrible at saying nothing and I'm racked with guilt for not saying anything. Despite being a non-medical company, we've been told women are accepted for scans who are bleeding and in pain rather than being recommended to visit the NHS first. The company says its scans are largely recreational and under its registration it can't discuss any concerns unless they're relevant to the baby's heartbeat. It says it advises women bleeding and in pain to attend the NHS, but its service detecting a heartbeat is invaluable in reducing anxiety. Other companies do advertise medical scans which diagnose abnormalities. Window to the Womb is one of the biggest. These leaked internal documents show that three spina bifida cases were missed in a single week in May. The mistakes were clearly visible according to the company's directors. They described the cases as a pattern of similar and serious errors, which confirm that the sonographers are not thoroughly checking all elements of the baby's development. This whistleblower has worked as a sonographer in a number of branches alongside her job in the NHS. There's so many women. It's like a conveyor belt. There's been near misses already. She claims working conditions mean problems will be missed. They want to be all singing, all dancing, medical checks, pictures. And it can't be done in a five to eight minute scan. And it can't be done effectively when you've already done 30. You would never do a medical scan in the NHS with all those distractions going on. It's really important that a sonographer is able to concentrate and not have somebody trying to sell the customer a teddy bear. Pregnancy can be a really anxious time for many women. What's wrong if they need that extra reassurance? There's nothing wrong with extra reassurance, but what I'm finding is they're wanting it earlier and earlier. You know, they offer scans from six weeks where it's a bit hit and miss if you can actually see anything that you can relate to. So then it's back for another scan, and then maybe another, and then a gender scan. The company says it conducts more than 100,000 scans a year and human error can occur. It said 15-minute appointments are the same length used by some NHS trusts and aren't full anomaly scans. We wanted to see what people made of their service. Many positive reviews are left online. What an incredible, stunning place. But we found the owner of multiple branches using their own Facebook account to praise studios. This is the standard for ultrasound clinics to aspire to. Five stars. Thank you so much for your amazing review, Mark. We've also discovered one of the company's directors posting a review saying... Really impressed how the clinic is keeping everyone safe during the coronavirus outbreak. The same image is used on his Facebook profile. 
We asked Window to the Womb why managers hadn't disclosed their connection to the company. It said it recognised that a handful of these reviews do not link with appointments and planned to remove them immediately. We showed our evidence to an expert in ultrasound. Telling somebody to leave without telling them something wrong is... it's uh, appalling, really. Jacqueline Torrington has over 20 years' experience scanning. It was my fallopian tubes had ruptured and my stomach had filled with blood. I was hours from death. Lady with the ectopic, that is horrifying. I mean, that is it's so dangerous. The, nothing about this report actually adds up. Fetus absent and normal life pregnancy. It's completely contradictory. It's a very striking catalogue of incredibly poor practice. It ranges from incredibly dangerous to anxiety inducing and all of it is wrong. The Care Quality Commission is responsible for regulating the services companies provide. But we found branches that haven't been inspected since opening four years ago and learned it doesn't review samples of scans as part of inspections. In a statement, it says there is good quality care in the industry as a whole, but it has a growing concern. The government says the majority of sonographers are qualified nurses or radiographers, but experts in interpreting imagery say regulation of sonographers is needed. You're doing the most difficult scans at the trickiest time for, for the most anxious group of people on a workforce that you don't necessarily know their, their level of skills, their level of expertise and what training they've actually had. Many staff at these companies working as radiographers and midwives will be regulated, so why does any of this matter? It matters now because of the massive increase in these companies. If you said to most members of the public, do you realise that some of the people scanning you actually don't have an easy way of demonstrating that expertise. I think the mums would be surprised. Problems in pregnancy are rare, but women who have experienced them say it's vital. Private scans don't lead to false reassurance. It has put an effect on mine and my husband's relationship because it's something that, I don't know, could it happen again? Would it happen again? And could I trust anybody's judgment that it's not gonna, you know? It was just so close. And it's one of them things that, thank God, I come with the other side, but how wrong could this go for somebody else?